Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me here today in News Tower. That's right, we're checking out a new game where we're going to be running our own newspaper here in the 1930s or so. Uh, it's pretty fun. I played a little bit just to make sure everything worked. Uh, I like it. You actually design the newspaper and print it and you build out your, your newspaper empire and you, you do a bunch of little things that you're all going to get to experience. I have a, a different idea on how I want to do these videos. Uh, so as we hop into a new game here, let me explain. My thoughts are, since it's a week by week thing, so you you design or you, you do your news reporting, design a newspaper and get it ready for every Sunday for publication. Uh, so I want to try and do it week by week like that. So it'll be shorter videos. I'm going to try and do a little bit more editing. Anyways, we got an introduction here. Let's go ahead and read it. It's been years, but I can still smell the air. It was thick with aspirations as your father and I started our journey across the vast ocean. New York was the place to be at the turn of the century. And so that's where our dream took us. My sincere condolences for the loss of your father. I think it's time that I share the stories and photographs that formed our past. Ooh, coming in on the boat. Arrival on Ellis Island. We came with a purpose, a shared dream to one day establish our own newspaper. You know, you aren't merely part of a family. You're rooted in a lineage of publishers. Ink runs through our veins. We were born to tell and more importantly, sell our stories. Let's see what this next postcard is. Well, probably a very common sight in the 1930s, people buying their daily paper. With our pockets light as a feather, we had to start from the bottom. We built a ramshackle newsstand and sold others' newspaper. But paper by paper, we started to build our own story. We called our newspaper... What did we call it? Oops, that is not how we spell the... The... Hmm, lantern... T yeah, L-A-T-E-R-N... How about Ledger? Yeah, we go with that. L-E-D-G-E-R. That sounds like a cool name for a newspaper. The Lantern Ledger. A decade later, we were hitting scoop after scoop. Our ink-stained pen became a lethal weapon, taking down corruption, corrupt politicians left and right. If you were somebody back then, you were somebody because of us. It's kind of ominous, no? Yet, life wrote some unforeseen chapters. Your father had to head back home, and I was left to lead our dream on my own. Nowadays, my stories don't seem to hit the same way. With the economic crash and debits mounting, the persistent deadlines finally caught up to me. With no successor in sight, I turn to you. Welcome to New York City. It's a pressing matter. It is time to pass the torch. Our legacy cannot fall to prey fall prey to these foreclosure wolves. It's a sacred trust to be kept within the family. I bought you a ticket to come to New York. A taxi will await you at the terminal and take you to our Brooklyn office. While my journey now leads elsewhere, my retired secretary, Eleanor, will be there to guide you. She will have you up and printing in no time, but brace yourself for this city never sleeps. Best wishes, your uncle. All right, well, let's see what we have here in Brooklyn and uh, what Eleanor is going to help us with. Oh, there's a dirigible in the background. Brooklyn, New York City, Monday, 8 a.m., October 1929. The Lantern Ledger. Up for public sale, administration's auction. Administrator's auction, excuse me. Here we are rolling in in our nice yellow cab there, and looks like the, the police are here to do something. Thank you, officer. We'll stay in touch. Have a good day, ma'am. Look at that mustache on that guy. Oh, hello there. You must be our new publisher. You seem taken aback, my dear. Perhaps your uncle didn't disclose the full story. I apologize for this mess. Allow me to shed some light on the situation. Our newspaper has been struggling tremendously with dwindling readership and mounting debts. Debits. An unfavorable combination. Last night, one of the debitor, debit collectors paid us an unwelcome visit. It appears that your uncle has an unsavory connections. To be frank, the recent financial crisis has pushed us to the brink of foreclosure. Your uncle saw no way out and sought external financing options. Unfortunately, his plans didn't unfold as anticipated, 
but his intentions were, I didn't catch that last word. You are his final hope, and it all revolves around this man depicted in the painting right above us. No, not that man. The one who was once our esteemed boss, your late father, the great publisher Anton von Endy. And uh, may his soul rest in peace. Uh, but no time to linger. We need a newspaper to print this Sunday. We've got to make every letter count and prevent this looming foreclosure. At your service, publisher. Let's meet our remaining staff. Let me introduce you to our only remaining employees. Looks like two guys just reading a newspaper. Hopefully it's our newspaper. Blazanov and Dennis, say hi. Hello. And how you doing? Blazanov is operating our telegraph station. Uh, it's our line of communication to the outside world. That's right. As a matter of fact, I'm getting some hot news in right now. Hot news in your area wants to talk to you. Give me a minute. Sure, Blazanov. And in the meantime, I've got something to show you. This is where you come in. See the blue arrow? I uh, see the blue arrow indeed. This shows your advancement in the week. Our goal is to get a newspaper out every Sunday. So, no time to waste, because we're already, what, finishing up Tuesday? I'll give you some tips along the way. Pay attention to those blue boxes. Good luck. All right, so we got some basics. Move around with Wazda, scroll in and out. And now we got to wait for him to finish. Looks like he's got one little bar left. What's this? The soundboard? Just got to decipher this. Bingo. All right. So we got to send our first reporter out into the world. Uh, this lamp here represents Mr. Blazanov's telegraphing desk. When the light is on, that means a line of communication is open, allowing you to send reporters over to report on events. This is where Mr. Blazanov found our news source. Looks like New York City. Click on it to dive in and begin reporting. Wall Street stock crash. Uh, okay, this is what we call the news board. The core of each news item lies in the story files. Each news item has at least one. So Wall Street Bank looks like that's where we're going to be sending someone, and it's going to take them six hours to do it. So we'll go ahead and close this out. Here we're dealing with an economy story, as indicated by this requirement. Only reporters with an economy skill can be assigned here. This reporter has the skill we need. Drag his card to the story file. Oh, okay. So just like that. Uh, angry crowds form in front of banks. As we can see, he started working on the item straight away. The story will take six hours to report on. Uh, an economy tag was gained f from this report. It's all about the story tags, as we will see later. When the story file is completed, a report containing an economy tag is brought to the tower. It then has to be processed into the final article that can be placed in our newspaper. Let's head back to your tower. Uh, just click somewhere off the news board. Okay, so we're back. Here he comes. What was his name? We got Blazanov and Dennis. Is that what his name was? Um, those mobsters really did a number on our equipment. This used to be where our typesetter worked, an essential part in the newspaper production process. Reporters would come back and deliver the reports here. Over here, it was the typeset reporters were assembled. Reports were assembled, getting them ready to print. Unfortunately, both of them were destroyed, and the good people working them got scared, so scared they left. Anyways, I'm getting emotional. Let's clean this mess up and start over. All right, so how to curiosity, does it tell me this? Dennis, yeah, Dennis Brown. Okay, so we got that. Dispose of the broken typesetting desk and the broken assembly table. So we can toss that and we can toss that. Very nice. Okay, it looks like we got a little construction to do here. Build a typesetting desk. We'll plop that back down there. And then we got to hire someone, it looks like. Every desk needs a person. Uh, they seem to be good for the job. Drag the file onto the desk. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, I forgot what his name is, but he is now a part of it. Let's go ahead and build ourselves an assembly table for 500 smackaroos. Okay, and we're going to get Brad Coleman here because uh, he seems to be a good fit for the job as well. Time to convert this report into typeset slug. I'm a total rookie though, so excuse me if this takes a minute. Of course, my friend. Of course, my friend. All right, uh, so we're waiting for that to produce. Monitor news items in production here. So let's click this. Uh, you can see the tags that we'll be collecting when printing the item. This shows the progress of your item's production. Every stop represents a production desk in your tower. Once the bar is completely full, you can place the item in your newspaper. Okay, so it looks like so we got 17 hours left. 
Uh, you can throw away individual parts of the story here. Editing is sometimes necessary when there's no more time left to complete a story, but you still want to print the completed parts. Uh, some outside influences might also demand a mint of certain topics. Keep an eye out and make sure to edit well. The rewards could be quite worth your a while. Uh, click on this icon to direct you to the location where the item is currently at. So we're at the assembly table here. All right, very nice. So waiting for that. So it looks like we've got another story. Ooh, is this a crime? Uh, found dead on steps. Um, so let's get Dennis back out there. Uh, he's going to go there. He was a writer almost done with his book, says Speakeasy Acquaintance. All right, so he's going to be researching us another news article here, crime-based. Uh, and we can fast forward up here. So let's go ahead and fast forward just a little bit. It's finished. All right, Eleanor, congrats. You've produced your first article. Hey, look at us. We're doing something, right? The final step is placing it in the printer which I'm assuming this is our printer here. There she is, Bertha is what we used to call her. How she served us for many editions. Getting sentimental again. All that's left now is deciding on the layout for this week and maybe squeeze in some more news, question mark. I've got to run now, but I've left you some blue notes again. Well, thanks, Eleanor, we'll see you next week. All right, so we gotta finish up this week here. Oh, almost forgot. They left you a little present in the printer. Uh, would they take a take a crap in it or something? Because that's not what I would call a present. Okay. Um, so we got new publisher, and it is a society piece. We'll go ahead and drag our uh, Wall Street crash there, and then we'll wait for the dead on the steps to finish up. Uh, okay. For every bronze tag in, that is placed in your newspaper, you gain sales. Some tags are more valuable than others but they are also harder to find and require more effort. This shows how many newspapers are expected to be sold. It looks like we're gonna sell about 2,000 by people in the streets. This influences the tags, uh, by the tags that you place in the newspaper. Another way to increase sales is to have subscribers. We don't have any yet, but we'll get to that later. Here you can see an estimate of how much money we will make from the newspaper that is issued, so about $600. That's pretty good money even today. Different layouts can give different results, so experiment. So what if we move our new publisher down? So that moves us down to 300, uh, and that moves us back up to 600. Hopefully this uh, found dead on the steps finishes up soon. Uh, looks like it's about five hours out. Uh, so we'll let that wrap up. Let's go ahead and fast forward here in October 29. All right, and we'll, we'll drop that there. So 750, looks like we're gonna sell about 3,000 of them um, loose, and then total sales of 5,000. I don't know where that additional 2,000 is coming from. Uh, content that's placed above the fold doubles in value, plus 200. Okay. Uh, roll the presses. Sunday morning. Time to roll the presses. It's time to prepare for printing. Don't worry. You still have all of Sunday to compose your newspaper. Time will automatically stop before the end of Sunday, too, giving you a last chance to print everything you want. Uh, when you think it's time to print, click here to control the printer. Um... I think we go with Wall Street stock crash, yeah? That that seems to be the most uh, important thing over new publisher and found dead on the step. So I think we leave our, our layout here. We'll go ahead and click start. Uh, we gotta, gotta pull the, the lever here uh, to set and printing. And there's a, another alarm there and away it goes. And there goes Bertha printing that newspaper for us. Another edition successfully done. Um, with all the uh, the fake uh, actual wording in the, the newspaper down there. Who are we as a society? As a businessman myself, I agree. All right, so we sold the 5,000 at 15 cents each, made about $750, seems pretty good to me. Um, $200 in wages, nothing in interest, lost $200 in the wages. So $9,210, that's what we're gonna start next week with. And we'll go ahead and move here into November of 1929. They came back and destroyed our printer. How could they do that to Bertha? Ugh, that's not very nice. We need to expand anyways, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna pitch the small wrecked printer. Uh, and let's see what Miss Eleanor has to tell us. Uh, looks like we gotta remove the desk the plant and the cabinet there, just cleaning up all the garbage. Uh, and what did we unlock? The sweeping station, the trash can, uh, and I'm assuming sweeping's like the action of the sweeper. 
I'm not not quite sure. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and build the the sweeping station as the the game is requesting. We'll drop that there, and then let's um, let's tuck a trash can in here, shall we? Um, maybe like right right here. Yeah, we'll drop that there, and then we need to hire someone to run our sweeping station. Uh, do we want Thomas or Dolores? Oh, Dolores Schmidt, come on. We'll we'll get Dolores here. She'll start sweeping away. Uh, it looks like she's gonna clean up this mess. So these mobsters really made a mess. We need somebody to clean this up for us. And that's that's what Dolores is gonna do. And why she does that, looks like we're gonna be heading down to New Orleans where a cargo ship spurned and then sank. So Dennis, head on down. Lucky they have so much water around here. Uh, dockside fire spreads to the ship, severely damaging the Mon Moneres? Moneres? Hmm. Well, Dennis will get that squared away from us. All right, so while Dennis is down in Nylands, uh, let's go ahead and add a second floor for $1,000. Very nice. Oh, and that's some of the easiest construction I've seen. So let's see, we're unlocking the stairs. Um, so we'll go ahead and click on that. And let's jump over to our construction thing. Grab the stairs here. Um, how does this how does this work? I guess I want it kind of like in the corner. Oh, I got to go here. And then it wants me to go, oh, so I can't just go to like some random corner. So the stairs actually have to follow, uh, looks like some sort of pattern. Okay, we'll drop those stairs there. Very nice, kind of dark up there. Uh, printer input module, printer output module, and uh, something about a page. All right, input, output, and we gotta link it up. So let's click on this. And we're gonna start with the input module, and it looks like it wants us to build that there. Go with the output module, and that's gonna go there. The page module is going to go there, and then our belt can start there and run that across like that. Very nice. So now we got a heck of a printer. Definitely better than Bertha. Much better than our old printer. Soon we'll be able to add more pages to this incredible machine. And don't be afraid to rearrange the printer later. It can even go through ceilings and walls. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's expand our workforce. All right, who do we need to expand our our workforce on? Okay, build a new reporter desk and hire and assign someone. Okay, so we're gonna hop here, get a new reporter desk. Um, here we'll stick them. We'll stick them there, and then it wants us to build another telegraph station. Um, all right, and we'll put the other telegraph station there. Uh, okay, so let's click on this uh, globe plus one to society and plus one to whatever that was. Um, all right, Tom Graham, you're going to be our new reporting station guy. Um, so you can get working on that. And Ronald Porter, going to be our new investigative reporter here. Um, so enhance the telegraph or the reporter. So I think if we click here, let's enhance this workplace by placing accessories. So we're going to click there. And the telegrapher gets a globe, which is buff society and buffs telegrapher. So we'll just drop that globe there. Very nice. Um, you can see here the blue arrows added indicate the employee skill has been boosted by the object. Over time employees will gain experience which will also increase their skill. Makes sense. All right, so um, what is this, Blazanov? Has a, has, a, has a globe to help out. All right, there's a whole newspaper to fill this week. Let's send out some reporters. Agreed. So we've got the cargo ship. Um, there's our extra lamp from, um, what was that guy's name? Graham? Graham. All right, so New Orleans, we did the first thing in the New Orleans Harbor. Now we're gonna go to Gallier Hall and Ronald Porter is gonna hop in on that. Uh, I said it for years, safety regulations need to be carried out, says the mayor. Oh, sounds like something was happening. Yeah, we already, we already read that. The more telegraphs you had, the more news you can do at the same time. All right, so let's hop in on the eve of the election here at City Hall. Uh, and Ronald can't do that because um, he is currently away. So I think we're gonna have to wait a second. We'll speed up time a little bit so Ronald re rejoins us here and then he can zip out. Walker rests his record. LaGuardia attacks efficiently while Thomas calls for faith among the voters. Ooh, and we got another here, bottleneck, or bridges and bottlenecks. Uh, and we can get Dennis in on that. The bridges and bottlenecks at the Capitol. Uh, oh, it's DC. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. All right. Get him working on that. Congress traffic experts urge adequate maintenance to many bridges. You know, I know this is November of 1929, 
uh, almost 100 years ago, but I, f I feel like uh, we have the same issues nowadays. Anyways, not trying to make any political commentary on that. Um, so we got that going. Let's, um, can we drop the globe here? Yeah, we'll give him a globe as well. They're only 50 bucks. We can afford that. Um, power and lights. Everyone's got lighting, but our, our printing shop doesn't have lighting. So let's just drop some lights here and make this nice and well lit so people can see what's going on when this massive machine starts running. Second story coming in. Uh, we'll get John Higgins working on that and getting that ready for us. Looks like we can send someone out. Uh, Bellinger Beach Jones. Uh, this was boxing, right? Yeah, Ronald Porter can go take care of that. By split decision in 10 rounds in Philly. Uh, he'll go get us some sporting news there. I keep clicking on these walls, and one of these days I'm going to move it when I don't really mean to move it. Speed up a little bit here. Um, okay, so now we can go ahead and start placing some of our finished articles. Uh, double click to expand all cards, revealing more details on the progress of your articles. Uh, okay. Okay, so this one's, yeah, burn cargo ship. So this one, let's, let's drop this first. Um... Because that was the big one we researched. Um, Saturday here. So eve of the election should be done. And maybe bridges and bottlenecks will be done. Uh, let's go ahead and fast forward just a touch here. All right. So on the eve of election. Oh, we'll get the tags matching with the, what are these, politics. Both the politics tabs are matching. And it's Sunday. It's time to roll the presses. We need about 11 more hours to finish up bridges and bottlenecks. And I think based off what I'm seeing... If it's red, it probably will not be completed this week, but this uh, will be completed today. So we'll just zoom on here a little bit, about four hours, one hour, 58 minutes. Let's just click this a little bit more uh, and we'll drop that in. So we have ourselves a nice full newspaper here to print event. Yeah, print in November of 29. Uh, let's get this printing on our new machine. Uh, that bell alarm, a little annoying, but that's okay. Oh, that's cool. Did you see it kind of jump out of there? And we sold 9,000 newspapers, set ourselves a sales record, plus one uh, influence, it looks like. Uh, a quality newspaper about money deserves my money. They seem to know what's going on in the world. Yes, the Lantern Ledger is the best newspaper in Brooklyn. Thank you so much for uh, indicating that to us. Um, so we're going to make about $1,350. Very nice. We're going to lose about $250, $350 because we did hire some more people and wages. Um, so we're walking away with what $5,435 for the week. I can live with that. Uh, and we're here to this map and I think this is a great spot to, to pause the video here, uh, as Eleanor kind of is telling us what we need to do. We can expand to these neighborhoods. Um, so let me go ahead and pause the video. I'll keep filming, but, uh, I think this is a good place to stop. Thank you so much for coming out and watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time in an orderly fashion. And I'll see you in the next News Tower video.